So we're recording. Okay, we're recording. We got your marvelous Magikarp Great. style camera. Oh my god, look at the Magikarp. Okay, I'm Red. Hello. I'm Bobo. Hi, I'm Sean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, yes, staff AMA. So before we get into the questions that you guys asked, we're just going to briefly touch upon a few topics that we just wanted to talk about. Um, so basically, we're just trying to be a little bit more transparent with staff stuff and trying to let you guys know what we're doing and what we're up to and why we do the things we do so it's not so like mysterious i guess and we tried to go into that a little bit more with um arma and the selection process and letting you guys see like you know our little spreadsheet and let you guys know like how we came to those conclusions and all of that um so yeah, it's just a, just a way to connect with you guys more and answer your questions. Um, we're going to try to do this monthly if we can. Um, and yeah, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so other thing that we wanted to talk about first was um, the the website void itself and um how that site was made and how we work with it and the reasons why we can and can't do certain things because um something that a lot of people have brought up over the years was like why don't you add this feature or wouldn't it be better if it was like this and um Maybe I'll just let Jade take over. Um, they could probably explain it way better yeah. than I can. But there is a, a valid reason why we can't just like do all of your really great suggestions. So yeah, uh, and the answer usually is yes. It would be great if we could do that. Um, the there's a couple problems. First one obviously is that I'm the sole developer for everything on Void. Um, and I've had people offer to help in the past. Um, usually they don't know the same programming language that Void uses. Um, and then other times, you know, everyone's busy if, and most of the people who have offered to help in the past as I've started working with them to try to like onboard them, they've had just other stuff come up so they couldn't help. So, so far I've, I've been the only developer. Um, the, the other issue, trying to get more people to help, as well as just why things are slow for myself, is that Void has been around since, as a website, since 2001. Um, Kevin, aka Toast, used to be the one who did all the development. He went through several iterations until the one we're on now. And the current site is a combination of two different things. One is um, Simple Machine Forums forum software, which is a pretty old uh, bulletin board software, as well as a bunch of custom stuff that Toast did on the fly. Um, and uh, unlike, unlike me, Toast is not a full-time web developer for his profession. So a lot of the old code um, is just like keep in mind he was more of a hobbyist than a professional coder he did great stuff with what knowledge he had but it wasn't like cutting edge stuff so i've worked on the code that he left um and i've been trying to update it as i go along but there's just a lot of stuff there because void is complex and integrating his custom stuff into the forum software requires a lot of fuckery um so that, that's kind of the other main issue that comes up. And certain features that I would really like to implement uh, are the result of having to play nice between our custom stuff and the forum stuff. So as, of what I, as for what I'm working on right now, 
Um, earlier this year, Toast forwarded me an email from our hosting service saying that they're going to be phasing out the current version of PHP that the site runs on, which is, it's, it's good. It's a very outdated version of PHP. So I've been working behind the scenes to just update everything on the site with the, the newest version of PHP. So unfortunately, what that means is that even though I'm doing a lot of work on the back end, nothing on that you guys see is going to change until after that's all done and I'm able to start working on new stuff. So that, that's kind of the current thing holding up new features. Um, there are several things that both you guys have suggested and that I've personally wanted to get to that I'll be able to start looking at once that's all done. Um, I'm mostly finished actually with the upgrading stuff. I'm, I mainly just have achievements to implement and then we're going to have to heavily test it and have staff just run through everything they can on the new site to make sure that everything is working the way we expect. So that's the, the current state of the site itself. Some explanation about why it's it's not super easy to implement new features. Um, I And I'm not discouraging anybody from, if you have suggestions, you have uh, bugs that you want to report to me, anything like that, I very much welcome them. I just want to let you guys understand why sometimes it takes a little while. All right, cool. Thank you for that explanation, Bobo. That was, that was beautiful. Um, yeah. Um, I think the last major update that I worked on with Bobo was like doing um, to make the site like actually mobile friendly because I think that when the you know the site was made like nobody had um, you know smartphones <laughs> back then. Yeah. So, yeah, that yeah. was a major change. I had okay, so. I, I don't know if any of you guys have done HTML, but back in like the early 2000s, everything was built using tables. So it's basically like sites were built out like they were an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and some avoids code up until very recently was still using that. Some of it still does. Um, so in order, but that it doesn't play nice with mobile devices at all. So I had to replace a bunch of tables with stuff that is actually like current web design. Um, so the, the other thing with that is if you, I hope that you guys have visited help.entervoid.com and the reason why that looks completely different from void is just like it is as it's entirely like other thing, totally disconnected. So that we made it like that so that I could just make things quickly and not have to like butts around with voids back end because that can be pretty um, difficult <laughs> at times. <laughs> um, so that's why the site, that site looks completely different. It's just, it was just easier to just start from the ground up to make something different. <laughs> so um, I handle all of help.entervoid and um, that's why it's all different like that. That's why it looks nicer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because I'm like a mod more modern web developer and I don't know the older stuff, but Bo thank God Bobo knows what they're doing. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I guess the last thing we wanted to say was um, that, you know, we try to do things the best we can here, but I just want to remind everyone that like we are, we are volunteers um, volunteering our time to keep the site going. And, you know, there is stuff that we have to do on a, pretty much almost a daily basis to make sure, you know, the comics go up and that they're good and we got to do all the stuff. Um, Particularly with Bobo and working on, you know, the site itself, like, um, I just want everyone to be patient with things that would probably be considered, like, you know, a part-time job, basically. So, you know, if we're a little bit slow with getting new features, just, you know, also keep in mind what Bobo said about, like, working on, like, you know, 
updating the site so it can actually keep going. <laughs> um, I just wanted to mention that. Just keep that in mind. Like maybe you've had other experiences on other sites where you know the mods were you know paid to be there and it's their full time job. So we're a little bit different. Obviously, we're like really passionate for volunteering our time and everything. Um, that's the only thing that I wanted to keep in mind. Like, I'm very grateful for for Bobo, but um, you know, I also want them to not get overloaded and you know work too much on the site, if you know what I mean. So that's the only other thing. I am taking. Um, did you guys want to say more before? Oh, I'm sorry. I am taking any and all offers for anyone who wants to pay me full time to work on Void. <laughs> I really wish we could. That would be the best, and you definitely deserve it. Um, but do we want to? I can, I can do it. Money. I'll give you five dollars. I'll send Bobo money. <laughs> yeah, five bucks. Five bucks a month from me. Okay. Maybe five bucks every six months. I can quit my job now. Only fans. Yep. <laughs> Bobo's only fans. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, do we want to get to the questions then? Let's do. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Um, Sean is our designated so, host tonight. Yep. So I'm going to be reading these questions. Uh, so bear with me. Reading is not my specialty. So, hey, you got it. All right. So uh, first question is uh, from Helvana. Uh, are there steps the staff are taking in the near future to encourage more voting and commenting in comics. Um, oh, Astro, did you want to take this one? Oh, yeah, I can take a spin at it. Uh, so in relevancy in regards to encouraging more voting and commenting in comics, uh, there's definitely an ongoing pattern that happens with the board on a yearly basis where people, you know, people uh, comment a lot and then they slow down and then they stop. And it's sort of a withdrawal that happens to all of us, which is certainly understandable. Uh, in terms of the staff, even even us, we do suffer from this sort of withdrawal from commenting. I will not be, I will not lie, and I will be purely honest when I have stuff, when I say that I, I personally suffer from that kind of commenting. So if anything, uh, in regards to encouraging more voting and, com and commenting in comics, uh, it's more or less a group effort from not only staff, but also from you guys within the community in, in terms of hyping each other up and in terms of exciting us into, you know, actually doing work that is relevant to the staff. Um, and sort of bridging up a little bit more on that, but do have to give my proper thanks to the community <laughs> for, for encouraging us, even when we cannot encourage each other or or reminding us to actually vote on the comments, uh, on the comics, and actually properly doing critique. It's it's sort of a group group effort in a way, and we are slowly developing and learning from it. And it's really wonderful to see the community involvement in trying to get us all more engaged in the website. All right. I think um, something else just to add to that. I think that like. You know, it, it kind of got a little bit weird when we kind of implemented Discord more into Void because, you know, a lot of people would leave like quick comments on Discord like, oh, I love your battle, blah, blah, blah. And they kind of just forget to put it on the main site. So, um, I, yeah, I think what you said is perfect. Like, we just got to like, just got to make an effort, um, all of us. But... Anything else? Hey, buddy. <laughs> good? I think we're good. Let's get to the next question. That's it. Yeah. All right. Good. One down. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Let's got this, Sean. You got this. <laughs> All right. Um, so the next question is um, from uh, Heaven Bat, and it is, uh, what is the process for becoming staff, and how does one become staff? Right, um, I'm going to take this one. So basically to become staff, you just need to be in a great member, um, just 
draw comics, be involved in the community, contribute things, um, help other people out, just be a positive influence in general. Usually people come on first as a think tank and think tanks usually are to um, provide us feedback, um, you know, from the community and be like, hey, you know, I heard, you know, so-and-so said. <laughs> oh no, we lost Red. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Red, hello. <laughs> <laughs> That was like perfect timing. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, hey, she's back. <laughs> oh, no. Can you hear me? I'm so yes. happy. Yep. We can hear you. We'll edit it okay. out in post. Oh, my God. Okay, that was weird. It's probably going to happen again because it happened before. Um, yeah, so basically, just be a positive influence in the community and, um, Think tank is usually the entry level position, and we need think tanks to give us valuable feedback and tell us, like, um, get us more connected to the community and say, like, oh, you know, a bunch of people feel this way, or a bunch of people, you know, want to do this, and um, make sure that we're, um, you know, heading the right direction. We also want think tanks that have conflicting opinions that are then you know our own we want people to challenge us and be like hey why don't we do it this way or why aren't you guys doing it a lot um that was something that was really important to toast when he was still on the site he wanted he, he didn't want like us to fight but he wanted people to disagree and to um not just be like yeah it's a good idea blah 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 so um basically you know if you want to be on staff then um just show us that you have something to contribute and that you're willing to um, help us out with things. And yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no like set thing that, that I can really say. Like if you're interested in being on staff, you can let us know. Sometimes we'll approach you. I mean, I remember hoping that Don would um, asked to be on staff for a while I was like I uh, you know because sometimes I approach people and I don't want to be like hey do you want to come work for free do you want to volunteer your time to this hell website <laughs> and like I'm not offended if people want to go but I I like it more when people approach me and say like hey I am willing to volunteer my time <laughs> so um you know if you're interested you know just make sure that you're doing the right thing and being a positive vibe and uh, contributing out there and, you know, let us know. Because with Think Tank, sometimes we, it's supposed, it, the original thought with Think Tank was that we would have, like, you know, a set of people and then we'd rotate them out, get new fresh blood in every once in a while and get new, new opinions in there. So, yeah. All right, I ramble sometimes. So. <laughs> I, think, I hope that wasn't too long. I hope that answered your question. Are there okay. certain like um, personality features that you look for people in staff as opposed to just purely I activity like, on the site? Um, I like people who take initiative for things. I mean, I can tell you how I got on staff was that um, it used to the void used to have literally no rules and it frustrated me really badly so i ended up writing rules for like the incubator and i just went to staff and i was like hey i noticed that this sucked and i took the initiative to like write the rules for you so how about this and they were like oh wow well. you know <laughs> so i like people that are that take initiative and they're not like shy about their opinions or anything so um that's it i guess Alright. Next question. Hey, Sean. Alright. Alright, up oh, back up the bat. Okay. So uh next question is um from uh Futini and it's uh how much is the Discord going to be used over the site in the future for things like event signups, comic submissions, and comments? Uh what is being done on the technical side of things to make the site more user friendly? I think me and Bobo could probably take this one. Yeah. You want to start, Bobo? Yeah. So from uh, a technical aspect, um, the like I said, 
Void is built on very old code that I've been slowly trying to update, but there's a lot of it to deal with. And the form software it's built on is also kind of an outdated model as far as what people are, are building web apps on now. Um, so it's not really built in a way that's easy to communicate with Discord. You can build Discord bots that can uh, communicate with certain types of websites and Void is just not one of those types of websites. So I would like to eventually uh, introduce more cooperation between the site and Discord, but as of right now, it's just not uh, a feasible thing for the near future. Um, and and also, like I said, uh, the I, my all my work right now is going towards upgrading the site so that it's more modern, and then I'll be able to start working on new features. Great, right, cool. And I guess the second part of that question was, what's being done on the technical technical side to make the site more user friendly? And I guess you kind of already yeah. So user-friendliness user is very important to me, um, and most of what's holding it back is, is a combination of all of my work needing to focus mainly on um, up, upgrading all the code so that it doesn't break when they phase out old version of PHP. And then also, it's sometimes it's ridiculous the amount of code that needs to change to just update one uh, one little piece of the site UI. So um, sometimes it's just an overwhelming amount of work that is not it, it doesn't always scale with the amount of benefit that comes from improving a certain feature. So I'm doing my best. Some some UI improvements take longer than others. But it's definitely something that's really important yeah. to me and on my radar. I looked at the code too, and oh boy, it is something else. It takes a while to figure out. Sometimes it's like, where is this thing coming from? And it's like buried in like a thousand other weird things. And it's it's a mess in there. So, understandable. <laughs> All right. I think we're good on that one. All right. Um, so let's see. Next question is uh, from Riku, and it's uh, what steps are you taking to foster a more positive and supporting community? And is there anything we as a community can do to help cultivate that? Uh, I'm going to take this one. So basically, uh, some of the bigger things for uh, keeping a positive community, uh, collaborating with others. Uh, I feel like there's been such a skyrocket in like people teaming up together and working together on comics. And that's kind of bringing the community closer to each other. Uh, seeing this like grow in that direction has been a real positive. Uh, other things I would say is like, just being more involved in the community, uh, being more present in like Discord, uh, being more present on the website itself with comments in the comics, uh, offering more help to newer members, uh, you know, just constantly encouraging each other. I'd say uh, also like we have been trying to work on doing a little bit more of like uh, smaller events where like you know people just hanging out talking like uh sometimes on occasion i do like drinking draws where we all just hang out drink and just shoot the shit uh i know that we've had uh lectures in the past which has been really like uh helpful uh so yeah i think uh as long as we just kind of stay on top of it and just be with like the rest of the community like uh hanging out, talking, just being around, just collaborating. I feel like that's going to grow in a more positive direction. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that, you know, you guys are a pretty great community and um, yeah, I mean, it's dependent upon, you know, you guys 
and I think you're all great. So good job. Yeah. I feel like this is the best I've seen the community in all honesty. I think every year we just seem to be getting stronger and just better and more friendly. And personally, I just, I appreciate that. So yeah. At the end of the day, having a good community comes down to the community. So all everything all of you guys are doing to um, encourage uh, new people to come in and share their art and uh, and fight them in void as soon as possible and providing yep. feedback, leaving comments, um, responding when people post an art art show, all of that is is exactly what we need. Keeping up that uh, positive mental attitude. Yeah. All right. Um, great. Let's see. Yeah. So the next question is uh, also from Rika. It's, uh, does Void have a birthday system, by the way? It might be neat if there was a way to celebrate a Voider's birthday or at least know about it. Yeah, so there is a birthday system. It is very limited right now. So what happens is on your birthday, if you go to your profile, there will be a little piece of cake next to your age. And that, as far as I can tell, that's the whole extent of it. Um, if we want there to be... I think that's still to the forum, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. on the forum. Yeah, it's, it's not something that Toast or I added. It was just there from the beginning. Um, yeah. If it's... If you guys want there to be more birthday notifications or, or something, that's something we could look into. Um, I don't know all the potential privacy issues. If someone doesn't want their birthday displayed, uh, I'd have to make sure that people have that option. But um, I guess you guys let me know. Is Riku the only one who wants more birthday celebration, or is that something everyone would like? <laughs> Yeah, I want. It. <laughs> I would like everyone to celebrate my birthday all the time. All right, I, I can. Mean, that's fair. It's honestly, it's probably going to take a pretty low you. priority over other stuff, but I'll yeah, I'll keep it in mind. All right. All right. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, next question is uh, <laughs> is from uh, Snagger. It's uh, my question is about the achievements. A lot of them were designed assuming the encouragement of the continued use of the forums, but as communication and regular activity moves to Discord, will new Discord related achievements be put out? Um, so yeah, when we made the achievements that took a long, long time, and <laughs> um, yeah, you're right. It was it was you know centralized around the site itself, um, and we did kind of have some implementation with Discord. Like um, a lot of people have on their roles on Discord, like five years on Void or ten wins or blah blah blah. And there's also the um, if you win a tournament, you get like a, a special color or the heavyweight champion gets a special color. Um, and then we also did the, the Armageddon defenders. And um, so, yeah, we're trying to do more with Discord because it's way more visible than what's on the website right now. But um, it's difficult because we do want to, We part of the reason why we made the achievements in the first place was to encourage more um, activity on the site so that's why a lot of them were like commenting on battles and um, uh, you know interacting more with the site so um, I'm open to doing that but um, you know the core of the the whole concept was to be like oh I want to comment 500 times so I get the achievement and level up and everything so that was the whole idea behind that um, I'm wondering if we should have like a, a Discord um, channel specifically to be like, you know, oh, I've been on Void for five years. I need the I need the role or whatever because it's hard to keep up with that kind of thing. That's the only problem with the Discord um, roles and achievements. Um, is that you know, if your five year anniversary rolls around on Void, then there's no way I can really like know that and be like, oh, I gotta go to Discord and then figure out what your Discord name is. You know, it's 
it's a little bit hard to implement, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, and like, like I said uh, in response to Futini earlier, a, a big limitation is just that it's um, the, the site and Discord don't really know how to play with each other yet. So eventually, yeah. like, if, if I had enough time, I would be able to upgrade the site in a way that it can easily talk to Discord and then we could, like, automate stuff. But that's just... Uh, it's an incredible amount of work to get there, so it, it wouldn't be something we could do anytime soon. Um, yeah. But yeah, always feel free to reach out to us if you notice a, a missing achievement or something in Discord that doesn't match achievements on the site. Um, a lot of that has to be done manually, and we're happy to fix whatever needs to be fixed. All right. All right. I think we can go on the next one. Yep. All right. So uh, this question is from Riku. So um, also just for consideration, in case it should ever come up, which I hope it doesn't, should two artists have a disagreement that can't be resolved by themselves and it spills onto the site, would it be appropriate to summon a mod to mediate between the two parties to prevent festering animosity? Okay, I can take this one. I, I think, think our Global moderator, yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Hello, I'm sinking into the darkness of my camera. <laughs> so, in terms of. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I look like a fucking villain. I'm so sorry. So, uh, as, as a. Within a creative community and within a community in general, disagreements are sort of bound to happen between individuals. We sort of have our own opinion, as they say, to each their own. So, we're hoping, well, we do generally hope that when disagreements do happen, that they are fine and it's, and you, and we can agree to disagree in that sense. However, we do have authority over the Discord and the site itself. If the sort of disagreements comes to a point of bullying and harassment, that is the part. That is when we only do step in and we serve as a middleman between two individuals who are argumenting essentially essentially and on the topic of saying that we only uh pay we only really uh sell disputes with our relative to the discord and the intervoid site uh i will clarify here that if there are disputes that happen outside of these two social media foundations these two communities we cannot step in for you um so if it does get to bullying then we will personally step in and we will handle this situation. We, we do not tolerate bullying within the community. And there are also features on Discord itself, such as the block feature, the feature which you can use in order to make sure that you have a safe experience. And, and I will also note one thing, I'll note one thing in the darkness, um, that if there, <laughs> if there is a situation, if there is a situation where you are in a disagreement that you personally cannot handle for yourself and it's relative to void or enter voids discord you can also hand the situation to you can come to us personally and say i'm in the situation and i cannot handle it myself may i please get some help from the staff and we will support you from there and i just want to reiterate that um all of us are here to listen to you guys if you just need someone to vent to or you just want friendly advice, like not professional as staff, but just as a friend. Um, I I think I speak for all of staff that we're here to listen to you. Um, uh, so, so even if it's not something we can officially step in on, we're always happy to just listen and, and be there for you however we can. Yeah, you guys can always send me a message if you want to talk about anything if you just want to vent i'm more than willing to listen i'm good at that and then you know we can have I'm a really great listener it's a good dad so, yeah you know <laughs> part of my duties um, uh, and i mean you I can know, you can always message me too uh i also want to answer a size question on what do you consider to ask me about the kid i asked um it is a very good question 
And as much as I would like to answer, what the answer that will come from me and my dark, my fucking darkness is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, highly individualistic in a way. Um, if I gave an answer, it would sort of be my personal perspective, and it's something that not necessarily ev- anyone can agree on. Uh, as uh, Yarn has said, it's sort of a case by case situation. Uh, some of us will step in when we personally see that it may, it may, you know, climb up into something more uh, distressing. And other times, you know, once again, the user comes to us, or we have other users say, "Hey, I'm in a situation, and though I'm not in it, it makes me uncomfortable. Can you please stop it?" So it's sort of case by case, up to the individual. Me and the darkness discuss about it, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I would also um, go back and read the. Um the rules that we have in the discord are like they get pretty specific about like um the things that we don't tolerate like you know purposely misgendering people um using um slurs even if it's against yourself um stuff like that we don't tolerate so if you want a uh i guess a brief refresher on you know what we would consider harassment and stuff that we don't tolerate you can go ahead and read that um that should give you a good good baseline as well. Of course, it can go beyond that case by case. All right. All right. Let's see. So the next question is um, Snagger. It's, uh, I've heard that Void started as a purely uh, competitive platform for comic uh, creators, but I've noticed there are just as many, if not more, people working not against each other, but uh, cooperatively? Could a new standard be put in place that gives users a better at-glance look uh, at how cooperative uh, a creator is versus how good a competitor they are? Basically, uh, an alternative gameplay mode, like uh, now you see a character's win-lose ratios, but it'd be nice to see a similar, uh, I can't even, like, what, I can't even pronounce that word aggregate uh aggregate for uh, collaborations versus solo battles uh something like that and right up front on a creator's profile or a creators or a character's profile um i like that idea um i guess from a technical yeah. standpoint bobo could elaborate yeah so uh it's it's definitely possible from a technical standpoint um like i said i there are some other priorities that would have to come first uh but if you want to just email me bobo at entervoid.com um i can keep keep that in mind as maybe one of the next things i work on after we get some of our most immediate uh needs out of the way Yeah, I mean, we definitely wanted to try to incorporate more collaborative things. So I think that's a really great suggestion to like a more, you know, upfront and like a stat that people look at. Um, Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I think it would be, that would be great if Bobo could do that in the future when you're, when you have time. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I do want to take this opportunity to remind everyone that uh, if you just want to do a two-person collab, you can use the the challenge form to actually challenge someone to a two-person collab. Um, I want to make it easier in the future to do bigger collabs or different combinations of in battles that you can't do right now. Um, but that's something you can do right now. So if you want to collab with one other person, just go hit the challenge form, challenge them, and the site will set it all up for you. Uh, if you want to do something more complicated, just talk to me, send me a DM, whatever I can get you set up. I can technically do it too, but Bobo is way better at doing it. I will probably mess it up, but technically I know how to do it. I, I built a, a script that makes it even easier for me. Maybe I'll teach Red to use it someday, but... <laughs> it makes me so nervous when I have to do things like on the back back end and I have to yeah. like, use the database and you have to do all these numbers and stuff and I have like a whole guide but 
Remember that one time I accidentally deleted um, Pyrus's entire profile? <laughs> that wasn't an accident. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually freaking out. I thought that I was going to cry or throw up, and I was like, oh, I deleted Pyrus. I don't know what has happened. Well, that... that... <laughs> Uh, that actually segues pretty well into the next question, uh, Sean. If you want to, does it? Yeah, if you want to uh, yeah. ask that. So, um, Snagger yeah. asks, uh, is there a, con- a contingency plan in place if Void's central website were to ever become permanently lost or impossible to maintain? So if I get in there and delete it. <laughs> yeah. So the the reason I was able to to rescue Red in that situation is um, I am making regular backups of the database. I have a full copy of the whole site's code on my computer as well as um, one securely stored online. Um, If anyone's familiar with like GitHub, I have something like that going on where I keep track of all the changes I make to the code and stuff. So it's highly unlikely that the site's just gonna disappear. Um, Also, all the the comic pages and character images are stored on Amazon's like their special image servers. Um, so those, you know, that's it's not just some guy's rusty old Windows two thousand computer in his basement. It's like <laughs> very high tech, protected, uh, backed up and stuff. So it's very unlikely that the site will just disappear. Um, but if some catastrophic event happens and I get hit by a bus while standing on all copies of the site's code at the same time, then um, we'll, we'll probably just live as a Discord community for a little while while we rebuild. But it's highly unlikely that we'll get to that situation. And thank you for making those backups and saving us when dumb things yeah, like me. Seriously. Because <laughs> we definitely did not have that before, so that was a thing that um, Bobo has implemented once they took over the uh, web stuff. So thank you, Bobo. We appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, hero. Yeah. Never again. All never right, again are we gonna have me. like half the comics up on Void just disappear, like what happened in, what was it, 2010? Yeah, it's sad because like some of my really early comics, I think the the battle I did with Cozy is gone, but like she was smart and like backed up her comics and was able to upload them, but mine is like, I don't know, I didn't have them backups. They're just gone. Can't believe it. I, I can't believe you guys didn't have backups. I still have, I think I still have the original, I think I still have the original Photoshop files from Anselin's first three comics in 2006. That's well, I'm a mess, Bobo, okay? <laughs> you I, know, I feel that, I'm a mess too. I'm I'm sure that being like a web developer had something to do with it, because I'm like thinking about the importance of backing things up. I don't know. Well, I'm a web designer, so all of my files are like blah, 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 final dash, one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> dash, revision, blah, 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 blah. So I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Before so uh, next question is uh, Rikun. Do you have ways of addressing how we can keep the competitive nature of the site healthy without it veering into toxicity? Me and the darkness can do this one. I, right. I am actually disappearing. Uh, so, <laughs> I've noticed that. In, do you have a lamp? Sort of regard, yeah, there put is, a light on. There's a lamp, but people want me to stay in the is dark. There? So, like, I, I will, I will, I will go. Is it on? <laughs> it's not. You guys... have, I was like, I'm going to go turn on the light. <laughs> Are you saying right. that? Are you saying that the members of Void are trying to keep you in the dark? They're tra- uh, they're tra- <sighs> that's a good one. They're trying <laughs> to keep me in my cage. They're trying to keep me in like my cage, oh, and I guess fair, I'm- fair. That's where you belong. 
I guess I'm stuck. So to answer Rikun's question, hello Rikun, I'm like answering all of you, most of your questions. So people really do handle competition sort of differently. We're not all on the same wavelength. We can't control how people feel. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes how one person may perceive toxicity is completely unintended by the other person. But we do have sort of general guidelines on ex and expectations on how the community should be conducting themselves, which can be found within our rules and once again within our guidelines. And those sort of rules are, you know, in place to report just in case any concerning content to the staff like me, the rest of the GOM mods and other staff members. And, you know, should any toxicity exist, um, just talk to us about it. We do generally encourage that, of course, everyone comments and critiques on each other's work. And, you know, in terms of advice, it really does help a lot to, to not take the losses personally when this sort of competitive exists, to not take that, once again, to not take the loss personally. Like, once again, numbers are just numbers. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, and that's completely okay. And we honestly do hope that you guys not, do not turn it into an, a harmful environment just because of the competitiveness in fact i'm, I'm y'all are pretty sweet y'all are pretty nice actually so i do trust you um and and also please just make sure that your comments are coming from a cr constructive place in terms of criticism that encourages improvement rather than one to just sort of be an asshole yeah i also like yep. some people respond to harsh criticism better than others and ideally if you're providing critique for someone you you want to provide critique that they will accept and use so if you know someone's maybe a little bit more sensitive keep that in mind because ultimately your our goal is to help other people improve not to make them feel bad about their art <laughs> and vice versa if oh, someone okay. responds really well to harsh crit like they just want you to tell it to them straight and don't pull any punches. That's that's great too. And I do want to say uh, I am now seeing some sort of uh, follow follow up questions. Those are definitely appreciated in the chat. In case we do miss them, um, feel free to reiterate them by the end of the AMA. Since we're going through our established list of questions. Um, in terms, I do want to answer Sally's question actually. In terms of have have there been cases of people scoring others unfairly, like if their friend is up against someone, or is that too hard to tell? Uh, if I am correct, it is it is within the rules, I believe, wherein y y the admins personally they do um, inspect the votes to see if they are truly unjust, and if they are, do you guys handle it? Well, it was about like if if we see somebody voting like all tens for their their BFF and like being shady, is that the question? Yeah. Yeah. If yeah, someone like should voting. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, we do check the votes to see you know if there's anything that really stands out to us like a huge red flag. But you know, obviously, we let people have their opinions, and um, from I think that. There is a big assumption that like your friend's gonna vote for you, blah blah blah. And from what I what I've seen, people are like pretty fair. Like I think I like had that assumption too. Like of course so and so would vote for you know their buddy, but I don't really see it in the numbers. You know, like yeah. I don't I don't really see that happening. Which like, you no, know, I I guess it sounds kind of hard to believe. But um, I think that in general, people are voting pretty fairly, even if it is their friend. Yeah. Um, but if we see something that's like really, really wacky, then we're gonna um, obviously address that. We're not gonna let that fly. Um, you know, if we see, I don't want to go too in depth with like what we do in case people want to find some like weird loophole to get around it. <laughs> but I guess I'll just say like we we do pay attention to it. Um, and it is a concern, um, you know, people cheating in different ways. Um, and it's not really something that 
I see happening, which is great. I think that, you know, if your friend does a great job, then you should give them the scores that they deserve. But if they do, you know, something incomplete, then you got to be fair, you know? You got to give them the low score. You guys seem to do that, which is great. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to address, um, he then asked if, for example, someone approached like one for dislike, 10 for like. Um, usually what we see is different people have different ideas of where on the range from one to 10 they score people. So most of you guys are very kind. And like for most people, the lowest they'll go unless it's a pencil sketches comic will be like a five. And then they'll vote people eights and nines a lot of the time. And then usually tens are reserved for really stellar entries, no matter who you are. Um, some people use a broader range of the system. So some people will vote yeah. twos and threes more often. Um, and so what we see is that people are consistent with their own uh, way of voting. Um, so it all evens out in the end. We, we don't really see anybody yeah. who's like an all or nothing or who seem like they're um, like they vote really high on people sometimes and then really low other times. It's usually either they tend to be high most of the time or they sort of use the full range one to ten um, to, yeah. to vote on people. Also, like um, not all of staff can see the votes. It's intentionally kept pretty small. It might even just be me and Bobo and maybe Iris. I don't even know. Maybe I th not. I think it's just, maybe I think just, it's just us right now. Yeah. And the reason for that is like, I just don't want, um, I really, the thing that I would hate is for somebody to just be like, and I'm not accusing anyone on staff of like being like this, but the more people that have access to like, I want to say like sensitive information, um, I don't really want to you know, do that because you could be like, oh, you know, Sean gave you a three in creativity or something. And, you know, um, Ian Bobo or not, gonna, <laughs> we're not, we're not going to go around and like spread rumors or do anything like that. I just want everyone to know, like, you know, your, your votes are secure. It's just me and Bobo and we're not really going in there and, you know, know deeply analyzing what you're doing or anything we're mostly just going to scan for anything that's like a big red flag yeah. um and the the observations that bobo made are just you know what we've seen through years and years of looking at this and um so i just want you guys to know that you know if you want to give somebody a low vote and you you feel like oh they're going to find out that i voted i gave them a one and creativity like that's that's totally fine um i don't really care unless you're intentionally cheating just you know vote vote the way that you want to vote as long as you're fair then just go for it and nobody's gonna nobody's gonna find out nobody's gonna like tell on you and you know or you know what i mean yeah yeah we we consider your privacy very important yeah, and that goes for other sorts of like um, this other stuff too. Like we, you know, it's not like all of staff can like, you know, look at all sorts of sensitive information or anything. We want to keep that tight. We can see Don again. Hello. 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 Oh, emerged from the darkness. <laughs> I was so gone. I'm back though. Glad to have him back. Let you out of the cage for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving on. Um, I'm struggling see to see. Next on the I'm struggling to see Don's screen on on my screen. So I apologize for anyone watching the recording who for whom Don just looks like two two squares circling around each other over and over again. I'm, um, not I'm sure pretty sure that's what they look like. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Are you just too nervous? <laughs> Don't be fucking rude. Um. <laughs> Don, you want to drop and rejoin real quick? 
yes, give me one second. For, their, for the sake of our television audience. That's a big no, Shan. Oh, there shit, we go! No. Yay! Oh, I see them! I think I did it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm good. All right, Sean. All right. All right, let's see. Okay, so um, Rikun asks, are there ways that uh, we can prevent people from getting scared of continuity lockout? Anything we can do that even people who have no idea about what goes on in Void will still be comfortable with us. For those who may not have the time to fully re read every single comic and determine what's important, not just the backlog, but there are those who might need a quick guide to Void so they can jump right in and some of the uh, must knows. Hey, um, I was gonna take this one. So um, I'm not sure if this is exactly what you're talking about when you're talking to talking about like a quick guide to jump right in. But if you do go on to help.entervoid.com, there is a beginner guide that I made, which basically just goes through like the major points of the site um, so that you can quickly like understand it. And then you can click on each thing to know more about it. Um, as far as like um, the continuity, um, it, I mean, Void has no no canon, um, so it's kind of hard to say like what the important things are because um, I don't think I don't feel like you need to like go back to the beginning of time here and read everything to like understand Void and get Void and know all of the like olden times, you know, comics and things that happened. And you know, we also encourage people to. Um, Oh, outside of the commonly accepted like Void City and um, you know you don't have to write about Armageddon if you don't want to like there's people that just do their own thing completely and I think that's totally awesome so um, I think that um, oh my god my brain just like grinded to a halt there um, <laughs> you guys want to help me basically i'm just trying to say like there's no there's no canon and um, no people canon. don't have to feel overwhelmed you can just kind of start making your own story you can just read the most recent comics to um you know get a feel for what's going on and you can feed into that or you can just make your totally new thing um if you do want to like look back um to some like historical things. We do have the um, playlist feature, which um, Bobo and I were talking about recently about trying to spruce that up a little bit um, and make it the way that I originally intended to be in my, in my head to make that a reality. Um, but that's a good way to at least show like your own character's storyline. Um, you can make a playlist to just be like, you know, so-and-so story and include everything that you want in there. Um, we also have like the playlist for just the tournaments, so you can take a look at that. Um, so I hope that people don't feel overwhelmed by the amount of content in Void, but I can, I can definitely see that. But I think we just need to remind new people that um, even though we do have a really, really long history, that it's not important at all. Like, I don't really give a shit about what people were drawing 10 years ago like I really don't like I care about what's happening right now and what you guys are doing and what you guys are planning in the future I care about Arma um oh, who cares about that old stuff like I'm sorry I know I guess some of it's cool to read but like I don't feel like it's um relevant you know more, even more relevant than what you guys are doing right now is what I mean if that makes sense yeah I feel like it's like, Void has always had groups of people who wanted to sort of maintain continuity between their comics. But I feel like, especially recently, people have gotten really into the idea of a shared canon on a wider scale. Um, but, yeah, none of that is official. And Void, Void staff has no plans of tracking any sort of major canon events 
from people's comics just because that's not what the site's about. So if people are interested in keeping track of major things like um, like the Deus being in Void City just hanging out or Asylum being floating up in the air, the, those events that a lot of people are putting in the backgrounds of their comics, um, that's something that you guys as members are welcome to do if you want to create a forum thread to keep track of it. Um, that, that's sort of up to you guys. Uh, but I, I really personally want to encourage people to break away from that, to put your comics in alternate universes, like what Goldie does with uh, Elijah and Sukri, um, or just completely break canon and make each comic its own thing, like what uh, Camel did in, I think it was All Together Now. Um, just do creative things, have fun, create your own versions of Void. It's always fun to see how people interpret it. I think one person was talking about the whole city being built on like the edge of the crater inst instead of being built over it. Someone had Void be like an old western town or something like that. There there's all sorts of crazy things you can do and as fun as it is to collaborate with other people on events that you share between comics, it's also really fun just to see people do new stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. I Fuck mean, like the concept. Of, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like the concept of Void City has been around since, like, before I even knew what the site was. You know, and it's, it's a really easy way beginning. to just, you know, plop your character in, and you know, you've got a bunch of stuff going on. And um, I think the shared thing is is great, but. It's also so cool when somebody just like goes completely wild and they're just like, here's a new thing and I don't even know what Void City is, you know? So, um, go crazy. You love it's, it. It's refreshing. Yeah, just be yourself. Do what you want to do. You don't have to follow someone's canon about so-and-so event happening. Like, fuck that noise. Just do whatever you want. Just draw comics. That's all I want to your dad. Fuck that noise. Yeah. Listen to me. All right, I think we can. Uh, All right, so yeah, we'll move on. Um, let's see, what's the next question here? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Let's I think see. from Shen. Ah, yep, it's from uh, my lovely space wife, Shen. Um, so her question is, uh, I actually am legit curious now. What are some highlights for U.S. staff from your time in the community? The things that make you stick around even when everything is broken. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, I'll I'll say, uh, I I love this website. I like being staff. Uh, I like the opportunity to help people. And, you know, push the site in a positive direction. There's a, uh, I've been able to do really fun stuff like uh, bring back uh, short and sweet, which is something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, I feel accomplished when I do cool things like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think being staff is fun for me, but yeah. I think for, <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> Whoever else is talking. Okay. It's a hard question. Uh, who's answering? I can answer that. In terms of that question. Yeah, do it. Um, highlights as staff from the time in the community. Um, man, being staff is fucking hard, by the way. <laughs> uh, this shit, like, you see how short my hair is? It sometimes makes me want to go bald. Uh, but in reality, <laughs> uh, it really is like, um, the, it's the community itself that really does make you want to stick in. Regardless of if you're a regular member or if you are a staff, it's really the community that makes Void what it is. Um, and so that's what, um, that's what got me stick in here for at least like two years and in jail now. Um, because of how wonderful not only the staff have been, but its regular members have been. Like y'all, like the community has developed 
and has become a lot more intimately closer and has allowed for these sort of transparency discussions amongst staff and regular members and regular members to staff and the and the honesty is what I'm here for and and also being able to talk and debate with you guys calmly without having to throw fire and fucking pitchforks at each other that's the sort of thing I'm here for I absolutely love it and when you guys encourage each other it's just like it's such good vibes (laughs) why would I want to (laughs) leave why would I want to leave such nice people (laughs) yeah it really is all about you guys one one rat as your treat (laughs) (laughs) that's great <laughs> okay so yeah like i i first joined the site in 2005 disappeared in 2007 and like really came back in 2012 and um i have i have this history throughout my whole life of seeing communities that i like and just going straight up to the admin and being like hey can i help make your site better so that's how I locked myself into this eternal contract uh, <laughs> where, um, you know, now I'm the only developer and I, I feel a great responsibility to keep the site running as long as people are interested in it running. But uh, Void just in generally means a lot to me. Um, it, it taught me to be able to accept criticism on my art without taking it personally. And got me drawing way more than anything else ever did. Um, and yeah. and like, like Don was saying, the people here are just so great. Like every once in a while we have our, our bad eggs, but for the most part, like every single person I, I talk to is just so, like you guys are so kind and hyped and you're all excited about drawing and it's just great to be part of that kind of community. So, and and being able to help like make you guys happy by making the site and and everything more enjoyable to use means a lot to me. Camel, you are not a bad egg. Come on. Camel is actually the worst egg. Thank you for uh, correcting. <laughs> I feel like this is all hard question for me to answer because I don't know um I guess like when I first came to the site and I was just like some um teen it was like I don't want to draw things and I don't know what I'm doing and uh, my friend puzzle thing showed me the site and I was like oh this is cool and um I was really frustrated by some of the experiences I had and um, and the way I was treated and um, just how frustrating things were. Like I got declined like seven times, I think. And I just wasn't really getting like the feedback that I needed, I guess. Um, I was just like, trying like it was like my comic was really messy and um you know I just tried to like clean it up and I guess that wasn't really what they were looking for and um I would see people you know comment in the incubator and I'd see people that were really cool get frustrated and leave um and I guess I just wanted to like make it better and um make more I guess like I just wanted to like fix my own experience, I guess, and just like make it like the way that I thought it like should be. And um, it's kind of frustrating because I feel like it'll never be perfect. <laughs> but um, I try to, I mean, like we wrote all of these rules and like Void literally didn't have rules. There was all these unspoken rules. And um, um, so I guess like, just seeing it get better over time and seeing like and i i know that it's still like kind of um overwhelming for new people but one of my goals was just to make it like less shitty for new people and um kind of just fix the problem so i guess just seeing it like slowly transition over time um 
it's probably my favorite thing. And I hope that I've made it better every time. <laughs> but yeah. I guess that's it for me. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. We're, we're gonna keep doing yeah. this as long as you guys keep being great. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's see what's next. Okay. Uh, Sai, um, had a question. So what are different, uh, what are different staff's uh, actual responsibilities? Like what does each type of staff member do for the website? Um, well, we can start with think tank, which I ran over briefly. Um, sometimes I'll ask them to do little tasks like, oh, can you get this data for me? Can you fill out the spreadsheet? Can you, um, compile this data, blah, blah, blah. Um, can you write up this thing for me? Uh, sometimes they write the news, um, but mostly they're there to give opinions and, um, you know, um, just help us with developing the community and let us know what's going on. Um, approval committee is kind of self-explanatory. They're gonna, um, they get notified every time a new uh, character comes in and we do, I think we get up to three people to comment and then we'll make a decision. Um, we also have community, what did I call it now? I just changed it. Not community organizer, maybe this community organizer. That sound right? Community something. It is community uh, organizer. Organizer, yeah. yeah. So um, that was a role that I made that was like um, kind of hard to define like exactly, but it, I wanted it for people like arts um, who was organizing things like the art jams and like taking control of like these smaller things. Um, just not exactly like tournaments, but just like other things that keep the community going and keep it interesting. Um, so that would fall under like community organizer. Um, and uh, global moderator is kind of self-explanatory as well. Um, they're going to be, you know, talking about every time some like drama explodes and we're going to be like, how do we handle this? And uh, so Cozy's in charge of that. So she has like the, the final say. Um, she's really experienced in handling disputes. Um, she's even been up a code of conduct for staff itself and how we should, um, you know, behave as staff members uh, um, and how we should handle dis different situations. Because sometimes it's, um, you know, kind of hard to deal with, but uh, they got that under control. So that's their their department. Um, and then, um, Obo and I are both like on the council, I guess, and I guess, you know, we're kind of like the, the final say in things. And um, I would say mostly, you know, I go along with like what the rest of staff has to say. Like if everyone's like generally in agreement with um, things, um, I think there's only like, there's only one time I could think of off the top of my head where I like put my foot down no and I was like, we're, you guys are like out of your minds. I don't know what you're talking about. And I think it was for like an approval for a character. Like you guys wanted to approve something and it was just a mess. And I was like, I think you're being blinded by something here. I'm gonna overwrite this. Um, so I have that power, but I generally don't really need to use it because I think, um, you know, staff can kind of naturally come to their own, you know, conclusions even if we don't disagree even if we disagree in the beginning everyone kind of you know works it out um see what else is there william jewel takes care of the social media mostly um did bobo disappear oh they're there um uh will usually post like if you see on facebook it's like enter void shared this interesting article or whatever um uh, that's usually from Will. Um, Arts has been doing a lot of the like um, posting on Twitter and Instagram, which is pretty new. And uh, sometimes I'll help them out with that. Um, I'm missing something. I don't think so. I think that was it. I think. Uh, um, so we kind of like all 
dip into each other's things as well like it's not like super exclusive like if somebody's like oh I'll write the news then I'm like fine write the news you know I'm not gonna be like oh that's not your job it's basically like whoever wants to help with anything um I will usually say great thank you for helping and thank you for volunteering your time like go for it you know um so hopefully that answers the questions and I think that um we were going to update the actual staff page on the website I did give some changes for Bobo and I don't know if they've had a chance to do that yet but it should be updated at some point yeah I I updated that recently should be all up to date now thank you yeah that'll give you a brief uh overview of what each staff member does um yeah I'm posting the comics um so we get um notifications every time there's a comic to go up and um my cat is meowing um (laughs) um so if there's thumbnails then um me or bobo or pyrus would have to do a little extra thing in order to make the thumbnails work um unfortunately it's like a little bit more work to get that going we review the comics and then um one of us can post it um and yeah, I think that's all the like basic basic duties are covered. Maybe if I missed anything, I think that was that was it though. I got yeah. a little distracted by accidentally yep. leaving the chat, so <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Um let's see. So uh Rhino asked. Uh, any possible plans on a better search for people's profiles and characters? The search just reverts to mentions on the forums, and some people haven't posted on there. Yeah, so <laughs> the search has been a thorn in my side for a while. Um, the The main problem of it comes from what I was saying earlier about the site being based on two different systems. So the current search uh, functionality we have is the forum software search. So it's designed to be able to search through forum threads really well, but it it can't search users or characters. Um, So it's something I definitely want to look into. The, The main issue being that whatever I do has to either completely replace the form software search functionality or learn to play nice with it and it's just a very complicated process and building a search engine in general is a lot of work and confusing so in the meantime the best workaround is is probably just to go on google uh, type in entervoid.com and then the name of the user or character or comic you want to look up um, but improving the search thing is definitely high on my priority list of stuff to work on once the site is all upgraded um because it's it's a probably the most common complaint we get about the site so it's definitely something that needs to be fixed it's just a a complicated process that's gonna take a while once i get all this other stuff out of the way so please be patient with me easier fix yeah tend to forget that it's like not that great and then I'll go to use it and then I'll be like oh yeah this isn't what I really wanted <laughs> yeah we used to um we used to just use a google site search but then it was harder to search on forums so th- yeah. the solution may just end up being switching back to that but ideally I'd like something a little more robust but anyway it's it's on my radar it's something that I'm thinking about actively and we'll I'll get something working hopefully not too far in the distant future all right all right let's see um next question is uh from Sai. will there ever be uh, plans to revise how best of void works or at least announce it earlier add another round of voting so there's more chance to catch up not everyone reads every comic and still votes, which I don't think is very fair. And at least in the past two years, a handful of people dominate the awards. Last year, I think four people got over half the awards between them. Not to say they don't deserve the awards, they were all amazing. But certainly artists definitely get more 
traffic than others. So it feels like other great artists don't get a look in because people don't read their comics. Sticking to who they already know and love, it affects uh, comic uh, comments and regular voting too. Is there any way to encourage people to branch out and give other comics a, a look, a feature maybe? That's a very good comment. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello, Red? We lost Red. Hello, Red? Right when, right when Red went to answer. That's a very good blob. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Hello? There I'm she is. In. Oh my god, I knew it was going to happen again. Um, yeah, I just want to say that it is a very good comment and that's something that, um, you know, I appreciate you you know, calling us out on that and um, just bringing up something like that because um, it's kind of a difficult thing to say, I guess. It's a, uh, but yeah, I think you're right. Um, you know, I think last year it was, I think last year it wasn't ideal. I think for, um, for some of the members that usually set up the Best of Void, it really wasn't in, um, a great time. Um, so I think that the ball got a little bit dropped, which, you know, again, we're human volunteers. So like, I'm not going to like, you know, um, we can definitely do better for next year. And, um, something that you reminded me of when you, when I read this comment was, um, when we were doing the Armageddon voting, I wanted to make damn sure that the, when the staff was voting on these things that they weren't doing exactly what you were saying here, which is like, oh, I'm just going to vote for this person because I'm familiar with them. I wanted to make sure that everyone knew like, hey, you know, maybe you weren't super familiar with so-and-so's comic and I want to like make, <laughs> make sure that if you're voting, you know exactly what's on the table here. Um, so it's a little bit harder with Best of Void because obviously we're going to take an entire year worth of comics into consideration. But I think that like expanding out the voting um, and you know featuring certain comics, we can we can definitely do better to make sure that um, these like maybe lesser known or less popular um, comics get the spotlight. Um, so I think that is something we can figure out um, to do better for next year. Obviously, I can't force everyone on the site to read the entirety of 2020's, you know, comics. Um, but I think we can expand the voting and um, make it a little bit more, more fair, I think. Obviously, I can't control how people vote. But, you know, it is, it is up to the community to nominate people. Um, Dominant comics, so yeah, I can't I can't say like very specifically what I think we will do, but I think that you have a very good point, and we will definitely keep that in mind once 2021 comes rolling around and this hell year comes to a close. Um, we can we can definitely do better in that department. Um, I don't know if you guys had any specifics, you know, that you wanted to go into about that. <laughs> uh, I, I just wanted to say that there's there's probably some things I could do from like a programmatic perspective of trying to search the database for comics that received specifically high marks or something. Um, I've, I would like to implement some sort of tagging system so that staff can just like mark certain comics throughout the year as uh, fitting in a certain category for the best of awards. Um, so hopefully that's something that's not something that we've done this year. Maybe uh, next year we can start implementing something like that. Um, but again, it's there's a lot of stuff on my plate and I've only got so much time. And also I do want to make comics too, not just program the site. So, um, but yeah, that's a great question. I think there's there's stuff that I could do to help make best of a little bit easier for everyone to navigate so that it's fair. Yeah, and I bet that, you know, once it gets closer to the time, then uh, staff can have a lengthy discussion about it and we can we can come up with a, 
a better way to do it. So, yeah. Thank you. Isai. All right. Let's see. Um, our next question is uh, from Futini. It's a character rule uh, question. Are there any guidelines or rules in place for dealing with multiple characters that are very similar or near identical from the same artist? Uh, I.e. like uh, the uh, backwards void versions or characters that are similar to dead characters or quote unquote legacy characters. Um, I can I can try to answer this one. Others are of course welcome to answer, but in terms of like near identical characters or legacy characters uh these sort of submissions same with as per how we usually handle within the approval committee characters it, it's sort of a base by base a case by case situation if if i was going to submit if when is fucking annihilated if i submit when i will get denied but we do have uh examples of characters like in the example, such as deal characters that have gotten in the past and have been accepted, such as Arthur's character Garland, who is distinct from Harlow despite being a deal rendition. Um, as long as you are able to make clear the distinction between one character and another version, be it that um, they are a legacy, but they are not they are not the identical twin of that character. Um, I think we can make an exception and accept them in that sort of format. Yeah, I think the only thing would be like, you know, if my character died and then I submitted another character that was like, oh, it's their twin, you know, and it'd be like, no, that's, no, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my plan for uh, Dale. I'm just gonna do another Dale, same name, everything. Nothing's gonna be different. So, you know, I was trying to cut probably people won't on. get accepted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Boutini is saying, as for example, like if I if they had Sal die, but then made another character with a similar power set but a different character, and, and another example they provided was, or if I made a different character but then reveal that it's actually somehow when they get submitted. Um, hmm. I would say in I terms mean, of the final one, it, it's still a different character. You can, there, are, there are plenty of characters in Boy that literally have the same power sets, like very similar ones, but, they, but they're still different characters. Yeah. As far as like revealing that you were actually the other character, I would say just don't do that. <laughs> no one's gonna like that. <laughs> just don't. <laughs> just don't do that. Be be reasonable. Like if you enter your character in a death match, we're not forcing you to do that. That's your choice. So if you lose a death match, you gotta accept the consequences. Yeah. Oh. So, try to don't try to make loopholes here. Like just just cool. be cool. <laughs> just be cool, man. Be cool. Yeah, just be cool, please. <laughs> please just be cool. We're begging you. Please, we're please. gentle. <laughs> we're gentle here. Please go easy on us. <laughs> um, so let's see. The uh, next question is uh, uh, Robin. It's uh, under each user's profile, it shows recent comics by showing a preview image of each. However, when you click recent comics, it just shows a list of the battles and no longer any previews. Would it be possible to show a preview alongside that so that browsers could see the comics but not have to click on click on each one? So that's a, a pretty interesting idea. Um, the preview images are technically just the first thumbnail of each comic. So some of them are a little bit more helpful than others in terms of like at a glance knowing which comic it is. Um, so in general, the comic overview page that has which characters are involved and the title of the comic and everything um, is going to provide more information than the preview image is. Uh, but if if enough people are interested in providing that preview image there, it's definitely something we could look into. 
Um, I'm just not sure. There, there are just a lot of cases where it probably wouldn't be that helpful to, to show the first thumbnail. Um, but yeah, that's an interesting idea. And if if other people are interested in that kind of feature, let me know, and I can add it to my list of things to look at. Great. Uh, so Robin also had another question, which was uh, on the topic of the search uh, search function. I had trouble finding a user and had to go to a very old forum thread to get the, to the profile. Additionally, it doesn't seem like most artists use the tag function when submitting comics and characters. Would the staff be willing to promote these functions more and possibly repair the user search function with a filter so that people could find characters uh, to fight easier? Uh, on the topic of that, uh, can there be an addition to the win-loss uh, or incompleted, uh, perhaps as an opt-in by the submitter, but enforced by mods uh, if it's really uh, obvious? Ooh. So the, the main issue with the second question is that we can't like detect whether a comic is incomplete, so mods would have to go in one by one and check each comic. Um, it is it is a pretty relevant stat to when you're looking to go up against someone to know if their comics are complete. So probably your best bet is to just, if you're interested in fighting someone, just scan through their, their comics and see if that's something that they regularly do. Um, it would be really cool to add some sort of stat showing who's incompleted or not, but it would just be a lot of work that we would have to do manually. Um, as far as the search function goes, I know I addressed that earlier. I would very much like to improve the search feature so you can find characters. Um, I, I don't know I don't know that we have any specific plans for encouraging people to use tags on their comics um, but uh, it the the idea of that feature was to add searchability for comics by tag so um, that just got kind of sidetracked by other things that needed to be work on worked on but uh, that that is in the pipeline um hope maybe i'll wrap that into the other search functionality um i'm not sure it sounded like maybe you wanted tags on characters which is not a feature we currently have but if people are interested in character tags that could be something to add so just uh let me know if that's something you're interested in and i can add it to my list All right. All right. Um, and it looks like uh, we're at the uh, last question here. Uh, it's uh, from uh, Fratini. It's uh, does the staff any have any authority concerning activity from the non-official board servers, positive or negative? Would harassment that occurs in those discords lead to disciplinary uh, actions on this one? So yeah, I could t I could take care of that question. Hi, Fratini. Um, so. In regards to sort of, uh, in regards to that question, again, uh, this has sort of been be iterated throughout the AMA that staff, as a staff, we can only handle interactions, harassment, sort of negativity that occurs within our official branches of Void, which is the Android Void site and the Void chat Discord, where we are right now. Uh, we do know that the, there are other servers, several other servers that go under the same name of Void, but they are not unofficial. I mean, they they are not unofficial. They are unofficial. They are unofficial. They are not affiliated with Void. <laughs> they are at best purely monikers for the members and who they come from. Uh, we cannot we cannot actually handle these situations that come from servers are unofficially like they're not affiliated with us so in terms of let's say if something happens on the void rpg guild server or it happens on the void nsfw server you cannot take it with us because they aren't related they aren't officially related 
to void. You have to take it with the moderators of that server itself. Uh, it's sort of the same situation on social media that, you know, if you're an asshole on Twitter, but you're, you know, you're pretty cool on the Discord here in Void Chat, we're not going to use your behavior. We're not using the behavior that you want on Twitter in, uh, towards you when in our actions towards you. We're going to look at how you interact within Void itself. Because we can't, we, we can't be dictators. We can be dictators to, in regards to, sort of whatever communities you are in that aren't aren't related to us. That sums it up, I think. <laughs> yeah. I think I think that was the last question that got in. Yeah. Um, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna peek at the. Um, if we miss Fred's question, then uh, please feel free to just repost it in the chat so that we can follow it up. But let's see about the RP server where um, the mod on common is on it. In regards to the VR, VRG server, once again, completely. Also, thank you for copying and pasting Fred's uh, uh, question. That's appreciated. Um, we did miss Fred's question. Can we oh, answer Fred's yeah. question? First? Yeah, no, can we answer that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Please. All right, hold on. Someone, uh, I, got, I got to find that question. Someone copy and paste that to uh, me. Yeah, Futini just did uh, it. Here it is, yeah. All right, so it's um, uh, lovely, lovely Fred asked us, uh, how are you doing? Are you eating enough? And I hope you're keeping safe. Grandma loves you. And my heart is melting for you. <laughs> uh, I needed that. I really did. Uh, I'm not eating enough, no. So please cook me food, send it my way. Um, but I'm doing great. I'm having a hell of a time. So thank you for asking. Oh. I'm fucking hungry. I've I've been eating too much, so I'm I'm extra good. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably not eating enough. Um, I had a terrible migraine yesterday, and I threw up like all day. So I should probably eat more to make up for that. But it's it's hard, you know. But I'm okay. Besides that, <laughs> thank you for asking, Grandma Fred. Need to rest after this, Fred. Um, so in regards to what about the RP server? Um, Ultimately, what happens in the RP survey, even when the admins and mods are in common with this one, the actions that are taken within that server would and will be completely independent of the official Void server itself. Like, unless there is a topic within that that is hard evidence literally carried into the Void server that we have, then that's when we have to handle it. Those two groups are completely independent of each other until there is an event that forces them to coincide, such as if there was harassment going on that that happens in that server that literally carries on into the official void server, that is when we step in. And this isn't a, an official statement as staff or anything, but as someone who happens to be in the RP server, I feel like the mods there are very responsible people. Um, so I trust them to handle what's going on in their domain. <laughs> the laughing yeah. on it. Distant response. laughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not in any extra ones or anything, so I have no idea what you guys are doing over there, but, um, yeah, like what these guys said, just, I hope that no, you're handling that on your own, and uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know what you guys do over there. Just, it's like a complete mystery to me. Don't we ain't just. Doing a lot. <laughs> um, the way I see things is, um, don't be don't be a dick here. Don't don't let yeah. me catch you being a dick here. That's that's it. Just be cool. Like. So. Yeah. 
is this sort of do we want to like open the floor for any more follow-up questions or do we want to say this is sort of it for the ama for now i'm i've um, got to get ready for bed so i think yeah, if, if we have follow-up questions here. yeah if you have follow-up um, questions feel free yeah. to um message uh me if it's technical um red if it's more like higher level stuff if it's if it's a, a simple question you think would would work in the ask staff for help channel feel free to ask there um all yeah. all lines are open and we're happy to listen to your guys uh questions concerns complaints anything yep. anytime um void is a very yeah. Sorry, go ahead, Sean. Uh, I was going to say, if anyone needs to vent or uh, just, you know, talk to me unofficially over stuff, I'm more than willing to listen as well. Uh, but, yeah, just, you know, don't people shouldn't be afraid to reach out to us. We are attainable. We are here. We exist. You know, please be friends with us. I'm so lonely. <laughs> please be my friend. <laughs> please yeah, be my friend. Sean. Yeah, I, I know that like I'm not like I don't I just don't have the bandwidth to be like super active in like you know voice chat or RP server or whatever like um, so I don't know maybe this is the first time you see me or heard my voice but like I'm a, a super friendly person so if you want to message me I'm totally open and you know I always try to be you know very um, you know honest and fair with everything so if you, you have a concern you can feel free to bring it right to me if you want to and um like i mentioned in the beginning of this um we're gonna this whole thing is gonna be recorded so um you know you can listen back to that if you you know missed anything but we also want to try to do this on like maybe a monthly basis so um maybe next time we'll have a different set of uh, staff if they, you know, who's ever available at the time. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to go now because I'm sleepy. So it was good talking to everybody. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, yeah, for um, submitting questions and being here to listen to us. Yeah, Kitty. <laughs> I'm sorry for I'm my cat screaming in the background. I don't know what's so I, I I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it quite a lot. It gives me flavor for the, for the conversation. Yeah, I need to turn the AC on in here because I'm like sweating and I didn't want the noise on in the background, but I'm actually dying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did the same thing. So. I'm like. All right. Yeah. All right, later. Yeah. Hi, if guys. anyone wants to uh, hang out and drink, hit me up. Cause I drink I water. Dude, I fuck with water. Water's great. All right, cool. I'll be there. <laughs> right, later. See ya. Stay See hydrated. Later. Yeah, please drink water.